So let me tell you something else that uh, that, that that is interesting. So years ago, Corey says, uh, you know, you got to go to this thing, Mike, because uh, it's a it's a different story. But so I have this mild case of cerebral palsy. It affects my right side. I'm crippled, whatever. So uh, so anyway, he says, Mike, I'm going to this uh, chiropractor guy, and you should go. And uh, again, I always followed what Corey said. I go, okay, I'll go. So this guy, I go to this place, and he's like rubbing your neck, and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> and he's like picking, he's like picking. This uh, is bullshit. Picking um, like fleas out of your hair, and and I'm thinking, I went one time and I go, this is fleas nuts. I'm not doing this. I'm not. This is crazy. So you bitched out. Fast forward. You bitched out. Fifteen years. So here's the, you know, I'm a little blurb on that. So Mike goes into Do- Dr. Deanna's office, Dominic Deanna, BeSimplyWell.com. He's the best. This is like 15 years ago, I think it was. Yes. And because I was sending, I had my employees going there. Everybody was going in there. And then Mike goes in there, gives them, I don't know, like 1500 two grand, buys like a big package. And Dominic does the introductory thing, talks to you. He does like one entrainment w- with you. And I was like, I asked Dominic next time. I was, I was like, it was like a couple weeks after you had gone in there. I was like, so I, I haven't seen Mike. He hasn't come back in. And the dude never went back in, paid all that money and never got one, one entrainment and never went back. He was like, oh, well, the hell, man. Mike he, was like, oh, I got this. And I got that. I'm busy. I got a tennis elbow. Or, eh. You know, it's he's all kinds of fucking neck. excuses. He's, He's, and tell him how you reconnected with Dominic. Okay, so tell so, that story. So again, I don't. And again, uh, uh, Dominic, Doctor Dominic Deanna, great guy. Again, be well. What is it called? Be, be simplywell Great guy, the best. I'm a big fan of his now. So anyway, uh, but I, I don't know what, how to explain it. Like, is it holistic chiropractic something? So I don't know what it it's is. It's network chiropractic care, and what it is, it's several different chiropractic chiropractic disciplines networked together along with kind of like yoga yogic breathing like if you look at the different consciousness exercises that dominic and gracie have demonstrated we've got videos of that up on my youtube channel it looks fucking ridiculous hocus pocus he's not like really touching you go that's ridiculous but if you actually do it it's just like everything i talk about my book i say even you think i'm full of shit if you apply what these books teach, it will work for you. So how did you reconnect with Dominic? Tell him that story because so, it's very interesting. So I'm in, in my office one day and uh, see this guy walking and he and uh, walking past the office. And, and I work for Lamar Outdoor, which, and so, but they call it Lamar Advertising Sell Billboards. And so anyway, this guy looks in the thing. He goes, he goes come in. He's a nice, very nice guy. He goes, He's here talking. He goes, what, what, what? Tell me about Lamar advertising. So I'm talking to him, and here's the billboard, and here's what happens, and here's, and then that, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he, I get up to get on my car, and he goes, You're walking funny. And he goes, I go, Yeah, you know, I have this cerebral palsy thing. And, you know, he goes, come, Why don't you come into my office? Uh, and I, I didn't realize it was the same guy. And he goes, Why don't you come to my office? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on you free one time. I'm, I'm just wanna, I can help you. And I'm like, Okay, I guess. And, uh, uh, so my back hurts a little bit. So I go, and uh, so he shows me. He works on. I, I go. At this point, I can't sleep. I'm uh, uh, angry. He tells me one time. He goes, "Mike, you're think you're you're working out of your reptilian brain." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and this is all from rubbing my neck. And he goes, "Look, Mike, you're." And Corey knows all this. He goes, "Your your neck is." is tight he goes your neck should be supple he used supple he used the word and i'm thinking so i signed the package another big package and then i realized you're the same guy and he goes yeah Corey." and i was i'm telling Corey stories and he goes mike i still know Corey, and, and we're, we're friends and i'm so i'm going so anyway so now i'm a, a disciple of dr deanna i sleep better i stand up straighter uh, it's the, that guy's the best. He is the best. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. He still rubs your neck and takes fleas out of your hair. But he. <laughs> I don't know what he does, and I would tease him. I go. I'm not. It's hocus pocus, but it works. You know, he talks about the twelve uh, stages steps of healing. Yeah, healing. Great book. I'm a big fan. And so again, again, Corey. It all comes back to Corey. So what Dominic basically does, he makes light contacts on your neck, mostly your neck and your spine, different areas of your back. 
And so where you have high tension, where your, your muscle is firing and it's hard, he's going to make a light contact. But where there's low tension, he's going to make a hard contact and push. And what it does is it helps your brain to reconnect to those different vertebrae. And it basically helps send signals to the brain like, and your brain basically becomes aware of that area where it's disconnected from. And so when your brain's able to now start talking to those, because if you think about it from this way, if you've ever been washing your car and you had the garden hose going in your driveway and you step on it and the hose makes that, that weird you know, noise when you step on it, you're all up and down your spine, your vertebrae, you have these little nerve endings that come out and they connect to all of your, your organs. It's how your brain talks to your body. And so if the muscles in that area where the nerves come out are firing and they're rock hard, it's squeezing those nerves. And that causes a subluxation and it pinches the nerves basically and makes it next to impossible for the brain to get the signals from those nerves. And so when he's touching you in those different spinal gateways and areas, he helps your brain basically become aware of that area in your body. And your body knows what to do to fix itself. And so when he touches you in those strategic places, like Mike says, it feels like he's flicking fleas out of your hair. It's like he's barely touching me and you feel your back moving around. You're like, God, it's so fucking weird. What, what happens is once your brain reconnects to that area, your brain recognizes that the muscles are firing, but they shouldn't be. And so it tells the muscle, relax. And then when the muscle relaxes all the tension and the pressure comes off the nerve. And then it's kind of like, you know, you taking your foot off the garden hose that you're stepping in in the driveway, and now the brain can get all the signal back and, and forward to that part of the body. And when the brain is able to reconnect to that part of the body, it recognizes that that vertebrae is misaligned, these muscles should not be firing, these muscles should be firing, and it is able to move the vertebrae around and tell it, tell the muscles what to do to move it back in the natural position because what happens is that you you have stresses and you kind of bend and you hunch over as you get older like mike you know when he would walk you know you you kind of walk and mike because he's got yes, cerebral palsy right. his arm will crumple up and he kind of you know walks kind of like the elephant man a little bit <laughs> yes right? no you're right I, yes. and then it, you know so as your spine unwinds the tension goes away and as the tension dissolves you feel more peace more ease more delight you got people and you're like, you know, with James and Paul, my old business partners, they brought a lot of stress in my, even Andy brought a lot of stress into my life and the other people that worked around me. And so when you're in a stress state and you build a business with a physiology of a person in a stress state, what happens is you attract people into your life that match and mirror your physiology. So if you're in a stress state, you resonate with people that are in a stress state. And so as you loosen up, you're loose, you're relaxed, you're chilled out, but you still got those people like, ah, dude, you're not going to believe what happened to me. Oh my God, this drama. Oh, my car got stolen or my car got broken into. Oh, that person at work, and ah, that pissed me off. And, and when you, you have those people that are in a stressed state and now you're relaxed, you're literally repulsed by it. And that's one of the reasons why I completely got away from the real estate and the mortgage business and the people that I was involved in, with was because my physiology was one of ease and delight and being at a state of peace. And Mike is experiencing that, yes. albeit 15 fucking well, years, years later, because he's a stubborn <laughs> jackass better, better and doesn't, yes. doesn't wanna, didn't want to listen to right, me at the right. time because he had all the answers, yes. but he was in such pain, and yes. pain is life's way of telling you that you're fucked up and you're right. doing something wrong. Then he actually, because he was in so much pain, he went and he got worked on. He's like, this guy's not doing anything, but yet I feel better. Yes. I feel more relaxed. The women that you date are more relaxed that come into your life. Sure. You're the clients that you attract, the people that you hang out with. If you got people that are constantly toxic and bringing drama into your life, you don't resonate with that anymore. It's like somebody would just constantly nails in the chalkboard and you just move away from those people and those kinds of situations and you don't want to be around it anymore. To the point, so I have some rental properties and a lot of my renters are knuckleheads and there's a lot of drama and there's there and I own some properties that are very close to each other. So people are always, you know, 
he's doing wrong and he did this and she's doing that and I'm going to call the police on him. And I used to, every time that that would happen, I would come out there and be like the referee, go, you back up and you leave him alone and you don't get your dog over there. And now since I've been with Dr. Deanna, people call me, like one of them called and they said they were, this guy was arrested for uh, a felony and all this thing. And he said, and I was like, okay, listen, I got to go. You guys deal with it. And now nobody bothers me. I mean, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So we're good. Yeah, but that's not my problem. It's okay, you guys, you know. And so, again, at, before Dr. Deanna, I'd be like, what is going on out there? And I'd race out there and, and argue with people. And will you back up? And, again, now it's like, nah, whatever. It's okay. It's just not me. Um, and, I, matter of fact, to the point of, like, being repulsed, I used to go out there all the time and I would mess around and around my houses and that I own and, and do things. Now I don't go want to go out there cause there's too much stress. I don't, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I haven't been out there in three months and I, and they, you know, they send me my money, but I, but again, so Corey is absolutely right. Dr. Deanna is absolutely right. I mean, I don't know what he's doing. He's rubbing your neck and picking fleas out of my hair, but that's, it's the best. It's the best. It's the best. So again, and and it only took fifteen years only before we finally years. listened. And in that, the German guy, what's his name? Uh, Andy, Andy Andreas or whatever his name is. Andreas. Andreas. Andreas Kunet. That guy. He still. We talked about it. He goes, oh, "What is that guy doing? Mike, I don't know. He's doing something. I don't know." But that. Listen. I do not believe in this. I don't I know think what it's he's all doing. Bullshit. I don't. What is he? Do? I don't know what he's doing. So I can't but, afford it. I'm a, I'm a, no, but I bought a hundred thousand dollars in guns million. this year. Not comment on that <laughs> subject. He again and he, again. Uh, you know, it's again going back to and he's still uh, bitching out on that. Uh, uh, what? He hasn't gone in the down. He went in a couple of times. He's like, "This is bullshit. I'm not going back there. I do not. Listen, do this. I, no, no, I do not want. I do not agree on these things. I will not spend the money." But has a different attitude about. But that. I'm going to drop a hundred grand on guns this year. <laughs> <laughs> but again, so the thing again, just to go back to Corey, you know, he, he makes big investments in what he's what he believes in. I walk uh, the talk, right? So listen, even if you think I'm full of shit, it's all in. Hop I'm on a plane. In. Yeah. Go to Orlando, Florida, get worked on for two weeks straight by Dominic. If you can get worked on twice a day, every day that he's open, I'm telling you, after two weeks, you're going to feel different. And when you watch him when he's working on somebody, even if you've you know, seen some of the videos with Gracie and Chunky, you're like, he's not doing anything. What the hell is that? It looks like some ridiculous hocus pocus bullshit. Amen. I've been going to him for since 2004, completely changed my life it was one of the best yes. things i've ever done is the greatest healing modality i've ever experienced even tony robbins the man himself says dr donnie epstein's work because donnie works on tony personally he's like everything that tony's done in his life and tony's exactly 10 years older than me he's 61 it's like he's the most life-changing healing modality he's ever experienced in his life be simply well.com i promise you it will work for you but the more adjustments that you get in a shorter period of time the quicker you're going to loosen up you got to think of it as kind of like working out you know you don't go to the gym one time and do one circuit of training and you're like oh now you look like mr olympia it doesn't work that way it's time and repetition because it takes time for your body to loosen up and then as you loosen up you can loosen up even further as he continues to apply contacts and then his assistants do the sri the somatic respiratory breathing or the consciousness exercises which you guys have seen that Dominic and Gracie have done on camera. It's abs It looks ridiculous. And you're like, what is this? But I'm telling you, if you actually do it, everything I teach, I can say, even if you think I'm full of shit, if you apply the things I teach, it will work for you. It's bottom line. Uh, and again, I totally concur. Because I 15 years ago, like, what is this? And now I would... I, we talked about uh, how much it costs, and I was telling Corey off camera that that, that, that it... I would, that's money well spent, well spent. I, 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 yeah, I'm a big fan, big fan. And again, have, have I, as we sit here and talking about, has Corey ever given me some wrong, bad advice or wrong things? <clears throat> I don't think so. Andy gave me some bad advice. He said, buy a $500 belt, which I never did. <laughs> did I say that? <laughs> no, Mike, I have a $500 belt. You buy the Leave belt. Leave that, that thing, it's going to follow me forever, I right? A $500 belt. Anyway, you were so fucking materialistic when we were young. It's here. 20 years ago. 
You guys didn't even know what H meant. Yeah, it wasn't until you had kids that yes. you just mellowed the fuck oh, see, out. Yeah, I never see, thought it would yeah, happen. Right. Like I was saying, that, you know, last time we did pot, you're the last dude I ever thought would ever Me get too. married and settle down and have kids. Not, I'm not buying other kids. What are those kids for? I don't, I don't know, have time yeah. for these things. <laughs> yeah. so, things change. I do not agree in these. And it's interesting, too. He, now he's got a, a Doberman Pinscher. And I, and I don't ever remember saying I don't like dogs, but I would never thought that guy's a dog guy. I would I would never have thought that. And now again, as I go back, I don't know if you. Yeah, when the, I go over to his house, the Doberman always comes right to my side. Right, I read saw that. She likes me the best. Yeah. So, anyways, dogs always know the alpha. 